Hey guys, Chris here. This is my path. You start out going this way, as you can see, there's already a path made by the four wheeler. As you can see, it's a forest. Took me two years to get the path done. Did it all by myself, no help whatsoever. No tools, no nothing. Everything is by hand. Only things you gotta watch out for is there's two street. That little stump, that stump. That one, don't have to worry too much about. The middle one can go under your four wheeler. Just depends if you bring a four wheeler or a dirt bike in here. I don't know if this place would be big enough for one of them UTV things. <laughs> you try it, but I don't know. You can see the path gets pretty muddy. Four wheeler path all the way through here now. Then used to be tracks here until my friend tested my path out. <laughs> Pretty big success. You go you can go this way or my new new path. I cleared a bunch of shit out, now I can go that way. Instead of having to go that way and then turn and then go right. So this is muddier, but it's a more pain in the ass because you gotta completely do a turn around and everything to go that way. Um, you can go through the muddier path, or you can just take the easy way, go through this way where my bike is. You turn, just a regular turn, just go straight. As you can see, the path keeps going this way. Yeah, those are tree roots. <laughs> Gets a little bumpy. They're in the ground pretty good. <laughs> as far as I can really show you, really, you can, you go this way, go in there, bunch of water and everything in there, mm, two feet deep, somewhere in there. Not real deep right now, but with all the rain we're getting, it might change that. So it's been rained for like 24 hours straight. <laughs> uh, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably already done and done. It's probably another half a foot of water in here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you go through there. It takes you around. And there's a path there. It's, it's pretty darn muddy through here. You don't want to get stuck in here. Because you can't get a truck or vehicle in here to pull you out. Too small of an opening. Unless you want to break down trees getting in here. But, uh, you got that path. It takes you back. It's a small path, but it's fun. You got several obstacles in here. You come in, you got your first mud path right there. As you can see, you can go that way or the easy way where my bike is. And you come over, you follow the path, go over tree roots, so you got bumps, you got mud, you got mud and water. Under all this water, this part's not real bad. It's when you go in that part over there where that big log's floating, the water gets about double as deep, as well as it's got like pretty much like quicksand mud under it take my bicycle in there it just fucking sinks can't move can't pedal <laughs> gotta walk it out I've put tried it in there and it does not work it can go through all this but in there it gets just it's like fucking quicksand mud it's nasty mud my friend's four-wheeler doesn't get stuck never has but it's an expensive four-wheeler four-wheelers worth forty five hundred dollars got real nice tires on it it's one of them Expensive four wheelers. <laughs> Ooh, is that a spider? No, that's a fly with green on it. Anyways, yeah, that's my path. Uh, I'm inviting anyone who wants to try it, just message me on Facebook, Christopher Helton. Um, it's my own path, I built it myself. I'm only letting some people know about it. 
because of certain reasons I will not say on camera. Um, but yeah, there is going to be a fee, just like Bricks Off Road Park. They charge 30, 30 bucks, <laughs> 30, 40 dollars a person. But this, this is just a little small path to have fun in and everything. To have something in Dexter so you don't have to fucking drive from 35, 40 miles to get the bricks from Dexter. Save you a lot of gas money. It's like 70 miles <laughs> there and back to bricks from Dexter. So yeah. Um, if you want to try it out, just say so. Message me on Facebook. Um, or a comment on the video. But message me on Facebook's better. Um, this is one of, one of a kind path, obviously. Created myself. It's inside of a forest, for God's sakes. Not like bricks. Um, I suggest wearing mosquito spray or something. There's a shit ton of bugs in here. I got mosquito spraying right now. Uh, this path never dries out. I have never seen it dried out completely, ever. This is... It gets drier than this, but it still gets it's wet enough to where you can do anything you want. It gets it's always soaked in here. The sun doesn't reach it in here good enough. It's always soaked in here. But yeah, the fee for going in here it's for the it's for an hour, which would be plenty of time. You probably get bored of it by then because it's a small path. It's not like bricks, but if it's for an hour. It'll be five bucks a person per hour. Which an hour should be more than enough. Because it's just a little small path that takes like three minutes to get through. <laughs> so, you can go through the path a hundred times <laughs> within an hour. So, I think that's a pretty good price. Five bucks an hour instead of 30 bucks. Like bricks. So.